Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're diving into a super practical setup, connecting a MySQL database on DigitalOcean to MySQL Workbench. If you're using DigitalOcean for your projects, you already know how powerful it is, but managing your database remotely, uh, that can be tricky. So today I'll show you exactly how to set up your DigitalOcean MySQL database and connect it to MySQL Workbench. We'll cover setting up the connection, handling authentication, and making sure everything is secure so you can manage and explore your data easily from your desktop. By the end, you'll be ready to work with your DigitalOcean database like it's sitting right there on your computer. Let's jump right in and make remote database management a breeze. So the first thing that we need to do is to open your workbench. In my case, this is my workbench. I have already installed it, and I'm sure you've also already installed your MySQL workbench. But if you haven't, then just go on Google and search MySQL workbench. Let me just see if I can help you with that search. So if I search MySQL workbench, you can see this is the first um, lizard that comes on Google. and right there just download it install it as simple as all that once you've done that the next thing we need to do is now go to digital ocean so this is my digital ocean account um now when you in your digital ocean account you need to go under databases because we want to create our own database now i am sure that you have already created your database but if you haven't connected your uh, if you haven't created your database, then you can go ahead and create a database if you want to create a database. But in my case, I have already connected, uh, I have already created uh, a database. So I'm just going to go to the database that I have created. And once you go to your database, uh, that, so, and once you've, you've gone to your database, you get your authentication credentials and you can see here i have a username in which in this case i can create many users and they would have their own usernames and then i have a password i have a host here and i have a port a database and then i have this ssl mode required and these are configurations that i will need to use in my workbench for this connection to work. Another thing that is very important is when you go to your settings, there is this section where it says trusted sources. Right here, you can add specific IP addresses that IP addresses or applications that you want to be allowed to this digital ocean database. But in this case, we haven't added any we haven't restricted it to any ip addresses which is not a security uh which is not a good security posture for uh, my infrastructure here but i'm just doing this for uh, demonstration purposes but you can come here and add uh an ip address for where your application is hosted um, or you can add a domain of that application and that should uh should work so once we've done that, we need to go back. Remember, we are not adding any trusted sources. So I'm just going to come here and get these authentication credentials. So back to our MySQL workbench. Here, I'm going to click this press button, which will open this, and then I can uh, create a name for this connection. So in this case, I will say DigitalOcean, digital portion db okay and then i'll leave this as standard tcp ip and right here on hostname i'll go back to digital ocean and then copy this all right so i have to copy that or oh, let's do this hmm that's not what i wanted to do Okay, what I want to do is I want 
to have the things side by side. Okay, like that. So I need to come here where we have this. And right here, let's open this again. I'll add the host name right there. And this I'll say digital ocean connection. Let's just say connection. Okay. And then I'll leave this as standard TCP IP. I've added my host name. I need to add the port. By default, MySQL uses port 3306, but DigitalOcean doesn't use that port. Uh, it uses this port 25060 uh, for this one. Uh, so just copy that and add it under port. And then we need to provide the database name. For us, uh, the database name will go here under schema. That's the database that we want to create. And then another thing is we need to add the password. So I'm going to open this and then come here, show the password here, and then copy it. Once I've copied it, go there, paste it, and then press OK. Once we've done that, um, there is one more thing that we need to do, but we're not going to do it yet. Uh, let's just test our connection. Okay, let's paste this save. Okay, it connect my SQL at DB my SQL blah blah blah. Access denied for loot using password. Yes. Okay. We are not using root. Remember, that's a mistake that I've done. I'm sorry for that. We have this username for our database. So we're going to use that username and then let's test the connection again. And it has successfully made the connection. All right, that sounds good. So if I do okay here, once you've done that, you can see that we have a new connection added to our MySQL workbench. And if we go here, let, let me maximize this. Uh, you can see that we have tables right here, and these are tables uh, for our databases. We have connected directly to this database, and uh, that's it. That's how you connect to your DigitalOcean database. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If it was, then leave us a comment and like the video. Until next time, have a wonderful time.